Hi everyone, uh, my name is Zena and I am back with an almost full face of Becca products because they're leaving and I figured like let me do an homage to them. I actually really enjoy Becca's face products and just when the news came out I wanted to check out their lipsticks because I had heard um, a lot of good things about them. So I ordered two. Um, I'm going to be showing you one i think i'm using mocha and anyway let's get started so i'm just going to pull my hair back um oh, okay so i think the first thing i'm going to do is um prime my face so i have two becca primers this is an awesome favorite of mine and i think this is the becca first light first light priming filter the one that comes in the purple bottle i love this so much it gives this like dewy radiant glow and i also got this recently which is the becca velvet blurring primer perfecting base which i found at um what's it called uh winners so i think i'm going to use the new one just because the the actual foundation i'm using is very dewy in accordance with Becca's style so I was actually really shocked to hear about about Becca's closing a uh, Becca closing um yeah like I thought they were not necessarily doing great but I didn't think they were doing that bad considering that like they have a few like OG products like but they're face products so I kind of like understand why so this is the first time I used the blurring one just because you'll see. So it's just going to do that. Okay not really noticing any difference i think this is more like of a mattifying one which is fine just because um as i said the f the actual foundation oh um i'm going to be using is full cover uh, not full coverage but very dewy and i love it well um let me just talk about it and show you it now um so this is i actually got their newest release which is the becca light shifter doing tint illuminator in uh, moon dance 3 and i love this so much i feel like i've or already worn this like a couple of times i just got it because i was looking for something that's really really dewy so um something that would give me the um effect of the glow recipe watermelon niacinamide uh dew drops but um that would last longer and i figured in like foundation slash uh, BB cream form that would be great and I just love this so much I do highly recommend you get your hands on it before it's too late and it's just like beautiful glowy foundation not foundation like it is I it's like light to medium coverage and Becca's known for like I'm not really trying I, with this foundation slash tint, I prefer to use my hand. And it's not gonna cover, like, your blemishes. I mean, I used, um, just one, like, not even, like, full pump. Just because I'm going for, like, a day morning look but i think this will be perfect in the summer slash spring i love it um i think honestly they should have probably released it earlier and as i said like it's not full coverage and i mean if you want to spot conceal you definitely can um but i like it for the glue like that's the main reason why i got it um it does give me like as you can see a radiant finish i love this um yeah really good just tint 
as they call it um so i'm just going to spot conceal a little but not too much because that's not like the main point and i'm just going to be using my uh It just gives a really nice radiant glow to your face. I just can't get over that glow, honestly. And then I'm going to use um, the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I don't like honestly like I usually would like when I've worn the tint I didn't set my my like tint or foundation just because like the whole point of me getting it is um so that I can try the so so that I can have like a glowy face but I will just for the purposes of this video hmm. It's covering my glow. <gasps> I will say this powder is very messy. So, um, setting the um tint has made my um, has made it look more like a foundation but there's still like i still see some radiance i actually see quite a lot of radiance and i do like this look i mean personally i wouldn't set it but if you're like s someone with a combination oily skin and you want the hydration but you don't want like an intense like oil look i personally like that look um maybe setting it would work but i anyway like i absolutely adore this and i um highly recommend you get your hands on it before it's too late okay so um i'm going to be using the becca chrissy tegan palette and i'm going to be using the bronzer that comes in it this is the malibu soleil bronzer bronzer which looks like this this um i actually really enjoy this palette um the bronzer doesn't work for me in the summer when i'm more tan but as you can see like it's, it's working now mm. but i do really enjoy this palette and i have got uh brought it with me while traveling and it was just nice i'm also going to be using my um using this palette for eyeshadow to show you how versatile it can be but yeah i'm so sad that becca's closing i don't know why like i'm not sentimental when it comes to makeup but like because i do enjoy some of their like face products so i feel like now i'll have to find another um brand if you have any recommendations for a dupe for the becca um first light priming filter please let me know um i got the essence like glow something once oh boosting plus more minimizing primer and i really enjoyed this but this is no longer available on essence website or in shoppers drug mart where i buy them so yay me okay then i'm going to use hibiscus bloom as a blush which comes in this palette and it just like this is the perfect summer blush in my opinion like there's it does have some glow to it i like like a in your face blush i'm i'm really liking how the products look i've never used them all together and some i'm just using uh like the primer and the um setting powder i got these from um the setting powder came in a set 
and then the primer I got from Winners. Both uh, both I got from Winners, but the setting powder I got as part of a set. The rest of the products um I already had in my collection and um I really enjoy them. Now for what Becca's known most for is highlights. So I want to use their like OG highlight. So I'm going to be using their um Becca Glow Dust Highlighter in Champagne Pop. I have the other one, the like the pressed powder one, but I want to go for this instead. I'm going to look like a glue goddess by the time I'm done with this face. Which brands do you think are like on the line next? Damn, damn, look at that glow. This would like make such a good like night summer night look. I just love it. I'm in sweatshirt like um my old uni sweatshirt and like not going anywhere. But a girl can dream. I love this look so much. Demi Bas Becca. I think Becca should have like honestly ignored like that like primer. That's that's like was marketed as a foundation. I think they should have released this like way early, earlier. They would have made a lot of money. They should have released just a lot of like dewy face products, like even like skincare as in like not like face wash and stuff, but like um like primers, amazing. They should have marketed them more. Um they should have released um like a uh, face powder that's also I think now they have but like it's too late um yeah they should have done that they should have done like a glow glow eyeshadow palette like I think like a palette like I think they do like summer makeup so well so I think they should have done that instead of like weird stuff okay so I'm not yeah I'm not gonna prime my eyes I'm just going to use like a, bl a fluffy blending brush and i really like the uh taking this pot with me to travel because it's so versatile so i just dipped in the bronzer my busan bronzer like it's just so nice And I'm going to use the blush. Do I want to use the blush or do I want to use... Oh, I'm going to use the like, rose gold highlight, which is called rose gold. All over the lid. Let me just... And a little bit of like that pink, the blush. Mm. 
does this not look like the perfect summer makeup? I'm just blending in slightly, but not like too much. I don't want to overpower the rose gold. No, I'm just like mixing them like I just look very summery. And then an inner highlight and I'm going to use Beach Nectar, which is the other um highlight. This one. Uh, in my inner eye highlight. And also in my brow bone. Yeah, and like perfect summer look. Oh, and then I'm going to use Mocha. I love their lipstick. Oh, uh, lipstick formula. Now that I've actually tried it. So Mocha and I also have Rosewood. Uh, but Mocha is more neutral. And I think like this look is calling for it. So I'm just going to put on um, mascara and come back. Okay, so I just put on some mascara and I'm going to spray my face, but I love this look so much. So this is the completed look. <laughs> Tell me this doesn't scream summer vibes. So anyway, um, I will definitely miss Becca. Um, if they have a sale, I might um, sometime in the future. I mean, I already like have a lot of stuff from them, so I don't feel like I don't want to impulse buy just because um, they're leave like they're shutting down. But if they have a sale on their lipsticks, I might opt for it. And if they have a sale on Moon Dance or um, the Light Shifter, I will purchase. A backup just because I think this is perfect perfection maybe even the um, the first light priming filter love that love their lipsticks love this palette uh, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please like and subscribe and uh, see you next time bye and don't forget to tell me what your favorite backup products are love you bye